It's a real pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is mine. Um, learned through your new film that you've had quite the life, and you reveal that you have OCD. Yes, That's quite I a do. revel. How do how do you manage that as a fighter? As a competitor, as a fighter, it's a good thing to have it because it makes you better. Because you you completely obsess about being a better martial artist. Every day, everything that you do, it's oriented towards that goal. This same obsession I have about my work, my job, to make me better, it, it was going to drive me crazy. That's why I took that break. You know, that I don't call it a retirement because I don't know if it will be, but I had to step off, the, step out of the competition for a while. My brain get bashed left and right inside my skull, you know, so I just need a, need a, need to take him, uh, you know what I mean, see what's, what's, what's gonna happen, you know. I've been doing it for so long. First I start because of the fun, because I loved it, it was fun. Then the fun become also a business, and then the business with the, the critic, the expectation, the pressure, you're the target, everybody want to want what you have. I'm obsessive like crazy, so I had to step out to uh, to keep my mental uh, health. So how are you now? Are you completely cool? <laughs> I feel very good. I, really? I, I, oh yeah, I had my first uh, New Year's and Christmas with my family. Like, I mean, a real one. Like, I can spend as much time as I want. I don't have to to go away because I have a fight coming up or training. Because when I was comp competing, I was completely obsessed about it. I needed to take time in my day for training. But now, if I ever come back, it, it will be my choice. I was really curious that after you decided to step back for a bit, that you called for a crackdown against performance enhancing drugs. True. How big a problem is that? How scary is that? It become a, a problem in every sport, and especially in mixed martial arts because you, your life is on the line. If you lose a, a game, you lose a race or a game in hockey, you lose a game, that's it. If you lose a fight, you might lose some of your, part of your brain because of the damage, the impact, or lose an arm, or, or you, you, you can, it, you, it's your well-being who's on the line. La Presse, a couple weeks ago, oh. you told them you were, quote, very disappointed in the UFC, that they didn't back you up with the whole drug testing thing. Where do you stand on this now? Are you, are you still upset with them? I'm not upset, it's just that I'm the one who stepped in the cage and of course I care if my opponent is on illegal substance because it gives a significant advantage. My intention saying this when it happened, first I didn't know it was going to be crazy like this. I never wanted to hurt the sport, hurt the, U the, the UFC. I always would be one of the guy that was fighting for the legitimacy of the sport. And I think then if, because it's a big problem, I think How big a problem is it? Like what percentage of fighters? I cannot say this, but it's, it's a big problem like every other sport, but even, I would say even before, even more because it's a new sport. So they need to change this, they need to do something for that. And, and I receive a lot of text messages, of email, of a fighter and reporter that's like, yeah, we really, uh, I think you're right, you're going, you do the right thing. So why, why is there not more of a crackdown at the UFC? It is. It is. The the UFC. They, they they know they they a lot of a lot of people will change things and and uh, and some people they don't want to talk about it because it's a subject that is a little bit taboo, but it's a big problem. And do you feel it in your head? Do you feel an effect from some of the the hits you've taken? No, I don't. I physically <laughs> feel a hundred percent. The reason why I took my my uh, my break it was not for a physical reason. It was for a mental reason for my obsessive problem. I wanted I wanted to take a break. I was uh, I was going crazy. One of the reasons was because of, you know, of that. Like, I felt like I needed need something to be done about that. And, and it's been a long time that I was thinking about it. I can't, I can't sleep at night now. I'm, I'm going crazy. I had issues, man. I, uh, I, I need to relax. I need to get out for a while, you know? I think it was the right time. Every time I had to finish a fight, it was another opponent and another one and another one. And I think it was the right timing for, for doing it now. So are you going back or are you going to go into movies? Um... I feel that I'm a martial artist first. Uh, if I ever come back, it's not for a reason of money. I have money now. I don't care, you know. I don't need to fight for the money anymore. If I come back, it's because I wanted to do it for the love of the sport. So you haven't decided yet? It depends what's going to happen. <laughs> if, it, I'm, if I come back, it's because I think it's going to have to to be to be some change made. Like what? Um, <laughs> some different change. and, and um, Like on the drugs thing? Yeah, on the drugs and a lot of things, uh, and and a lot a lot of things in my life also. Uh, but I, I, if I ever come back, it's because I'm gonna decide of it. That's what I, I I'm gonna come back for the love of it because I love competition. 
it's hard to be on top, to be uh, the target for so long. Uh, and because I'm an obsessive person, I always oriented my life towards I want to be the best at what I do, and I always think about that. Are you having fun in, uh, as a bad guy in, uh, in the movies? I do. I have a lot of fun, and um, it was a different experience for me. Uh, but I so really, is that the future, maybe? It was a lot of fun, but I don't know if I want to do this or if I feel that I still have something in me that I want me to compete again. I don't know yet. I don't know. I will see when the future was going to happen. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet Thank you. you. Thank you.